Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Renown Zero. Today we're going to be talking about the God of War writer Anthony Birch talking about wanting to make Kratos essentially gay. Even though every game you literally fuck women in every single game. He even has a son. He had a wife who was unfortunately killed. I'm sorry spoilers but if you haven't played God of War, you know the original God of War... I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. I don't care. But are you serious? You should not be writing this character of Kratos if you are trying to change who he is and who he's always been. He's always been a ladies' man. He's always fucked women. He's always fucked women in every game. There's always a mini game in every God of War. As far as I can tell, because I didn't play the new one, or I didn't play Ascension. But in the first three games, God of War 1, 2, and 3, there's always a sex mini- Oh yeah, and Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta, I'm pretty sure they're in there too. There's always a sex mini game in all of those games. So it's clear to me that Kratos is not gay. Stop trying to push this bullshit on a character who's been 100% straight. Has always been straight. And he, like I said, he had a wife. And he's with his child. His biological fucking child. Alright, so we're going to go into this article from Bounding in the Comics. Reading about this. God of War Ragnarok writer Anthony Birch. I tried really hard to make Kratos talk about kissing guys. Because you're a bitch yourself. Please be removed from this project Please be removed from any future God of War projects. We don't need some ideologue bitch like you writing a great character like Kratos as gay because you feel that that's what he should be. Fuck you. Anyway, God of War Ragnarok writer Anthony Birch has claimed he tried really hard to make Kratos talk about kissing guys. Yes, because you're an ideological bitch. And you're just like all these weirdos in DC and Marvel who change, who do sexuality changes to characters who've been, who have been always straight, like Superman or even Iceman, for God's sake. Birch's claim came July 6, shortly after God of War Ragnarok's release date was announced. Quote to you in the announcement, Birch added, "I was a writer on this. I don't know if you'll like the parts I wrote. I I, I wouldn't write the part like the parts you wrote after reading about this." But I'm pretty sure you'll like the game in general. Also, I try really hard to make Kratos talk about kissing guys. Because you're a weirdo. And you don't know anything about this character, clearly. Because you're a you're a ideological bitch. And of course, here's the original tweet. I don't know if that line made the final cut, Birch admits. It lives in the same purgatory with... With the line where Kratos mentions PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale as being canon, a canon part of his backstory. The game flopped, by the way. While Birch has not appeared in the game's IMDb page at the time of this writing, I'm glad. Birch had previously stated, I'm working on the new, on the new God of War and it now deleted September 2020 tweet. And here's the original tweet. I think the fans will love all the parts you specifically did not write. God of War Ragnarok's technical narrative designer, Harley Honor, joked, great. Yeah, fuck off. And this is how you learned you can't be sarcastic about me when nerds are involved. Birch retorted, seemingly referring to some taking honors comment seriously. I hope you did take it seriously because we don't care about your sexuality change that you're trying to do to a, an original straight white male, you bitch. <laughs> I'm trying to resist the urge to yell at all these people and tell them you're great. No, she's not. Or he, or whatever the hell. Confess Santa Monica Studios lead player investment designer Anthony Demento. Haha, ha, it's fine, Birch. Says, I can't see 90% of the tweets because most of these dorks are on a block list. They just jelly didn't get to write for a strong beard man, and I, a cuck, did. So you admit you're a bitch. Okay, I got it. You shouldn't be writing Kratos. You shouldn't be writing God of War. You should be writing your own cuckery stories that you want to write. Go ahead and write those stories and do not ever touch a established straight white male character that you don't clearly don't give a fuck about. The Borderlands writer somewhat infamous online. Birch had previously dismissed the gamer gay consumer revolt as being a harassment campaign against women, which it's not. If you believe this still, if you believe this still, you're just stupid. 
which only drew attention to his personal life by Gamergate supporters. In fact, Birch had dismissed Gamergate as not only not as not being interested in ethics and games journalism, as they had hadn't noticed he had been unethical. Oh, sorry, it is a he. Yeah. Again, he's a cuck. As cataloged by the now defunct Tack on Game, which links to all tweets in his archive on the web, the archive.org. Good. Birch made the confession under his now inactive Reverend Anthony Twitter account at Slate on sites along with archives of his other tweets showing his face. Long story short, Birch confessed that two of his friends gave positives to two pieces of Borderlands 2 DLC, both on the instructor who also hosted his and Ashley Birch. Hey Ash, what's your playing video series? I felt he okay. But he didn't know it's like Gamergate despite having okay. As a result of this, Gamergate supporters were way more aware of Birch's mar- mar- marital issues allegedly shared by himself. These include being an open marriage, and we don't care about that. On the Destructoid, Birch also wrote a counterpoint to Destructoid's 10 out of 10 God of War 3, calling it too long and boring. You're too long and boring. God of War 3 was great. And longer games make for better games, typically. Especially with God of War. Despite his initial enjoyment first five hours out of 8, Birch condemns the game as overly long and the kind of creators of Jack finally killing Zeus. Spoilers. Oh my god, who cares? With how arbitrarily goes to achieve it, two similar fire games feeling attached to his wife and child with a as a mismatch how brutally violent evil Kratos had acted even at times when Kratos acts to save Pandora. He was a warrior for the Spartan army. He had to be an evil fucker. But you know what? Clearly he had a soft spot for a woman and had a child. He had a child because he clearly had a soft spot for women. If you you would know that if you fucking played anything else. If you played all the original games fully through, you would know that. If the gameplay tells me I'm being an evil bastard, let me be an evil bastard. That's terrible storytelling. That's what we call that. Birch, I'm implored. He concluded his counterpart of God of War 3 stating, it's dishonest overly long and makes early promises and incapable of keeping. See, you can give criticism. That's fine. But God of War 3 is actually a really good game. And the fact that you think... That because somebody is acting evil, they can't also have a soft side. That makes for good character development. You're literally playing as the character, and you don't even under- simply understand the concept of he can also have his own soft side. He had to be, he became as evil as he is because he literally lost everything he loved. He lost his allies in the war. He lost his wife and child, and that's why he went to fight the war in the first place. But they, the gods brought him back saying... Um, he had to eliminate the gods. His mission was to eliminate the god and become the god of war. That was the first game. And then he took all the other gods, as he was told. So, yes, you're basically saying that he can't be good in any way. When literally he became evil because he lost everything. That's why he became the way he is. But clearly you don't you don't play the game, so you don't know anything and this is exactly the type of people that don't need to be writing a God of War game. Because the people like this do not know anything about this character. You don't need to be writing this character if you don't know even the basic you know, information about this character. But I don't like this person. This person even admitted that they were a cuck. I hope you continue to be a cuck for the rest of your life. And you don't ever, ever reproduce. That's my video there. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe for more content. Again, leave a comment below and see. let me know what you'd like me to cover. I'll gladly make videos on it. I will leave a link to my Twitch channel in the description, as well as a link to the Ripperverse that is doing extremely well. It's over 1.9 million as a recording of this video. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.